Okay, we are now going to turn to Arturo Lopez Levy. He is an assistant professor of international relations at Gustavus Adolphus College. He joins us from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Arturo, thank you very much for joining us. A very fluid situation down there. I want to pick up on what we heard U.S. President Trump say uh, about you can't hide from change, speaking directly to Venezuela's military. Is that going to be perceived as a threat at all? Chong, when the President of the United States speaks, everybody needs to take it seriously. And obviously, uh, he has said, and he repeated today, by the way, that every option is on the table. Uh, it sounds terrible for many people in Latin America, because it sounds like the ultimatum and the forced declaration that were taken by the United States many times unilaterally. The whole region, even those who oppose President Maduro, has said very clearly that they oppose to have the military option on the table. They want to promote a dialogue. They would like to see a conversation. The role of Mexico, Uruguay, and all the countries in this sense has been important. But uh, it, it cannot be discounted that the United States is thinking seriously in a, a, a major force measure. Uh, particularly when we know even that at time it was uh, uh, seen by the journalists that National Security Advisor John Bolton had even a, a notepad mm. with a number of 5,000 troops for Colombia. Arturo, you're exactly right. That was at a recent uh, press briefing. He was holding that yellow legal notepad that said that for everyone to read. I also want to look at back at what Critics call a long list of U.S. involvement in Latin America. It's very detailed, going back to Mexico in the mid-1840s, and you have to think about the failed Bay of Pigs invasion, and also under President Reagan's administration, the work with the Sandinistas. There is this long history of U.S. covert and military involvement in Latin America. Uh, people in that era, in that region, in Latin America, are concerned about this. It's, it, it's, it's unavoidable. There is, people have memory. And uh, it is not a happenstance that the president has uh, appointed people in very high ranks. John Bolton, who uh, even twisted information about a potential Cuban capability to develop uh, weapons of mass destruction that President Carter and Secretary Colin Powell in the early 2000s denied that that was the case. They have also Elliot Abrams, now as a special envoy for the Venezuela issue, who was uh, uh, guilty of lying to Congress mm -hmm. in involvement about a covert operation during the Iran contras. So it is not unexpected that in Latin America people take very serious any uh, 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 sounding of the drums of war and also uh, the, the, the people that are surrounding the president and the way even they are, they, they are even talking about interference in the internal affairs of, the, of Venezuela and other countries without m any reference to international law. Let's remember, even in the OAS uh, 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 inter-American uh, law, mm -hmm. It is contemplated that a country could deny recognition to a president. This is something that has been done to, uh, about President Nicolás Maduro. But the idea that a group of countries, and particularly the president of the United States, 30 minutes after somebody self-proclaimed president of a country, uh, th then the United States recognized him as the legitimate president. This has happened in Latin America in the, in the beginning of the 20th century, at the time of the gunboat diplomacy. Right. Arturo, so it's very difficult to see that as democratic promotion. Arturo, let's also look at all the aid that is building up along the Colombian border with Venezuela. Questions abound. Will President Maduro let that assistance in? But he has publicly labeled it as, quote, a trap. There are people in that nation that need basic supplies, basic med uh, medicine. Is that going to get in there? Well, let's not talk. Here, here there is not a battle between angels and demons. And I think that uh, President Maduro is uh, responsibly uh, fundamentally for the type of crisis that his country is living. 
And uh, he is obviously in a cash-22, and he has to find a way to deal with this issue. Even countries like Uruguay, that oppose significantly and openly to a military intervention, they have called for an early elections and also for finding a way to uh, allow some humanitarian aid to, to reach, or the humanitarian aid uh, organized by the United Nations or by some kind of non-governmental, non-political, non-partisan group to reach Venezuela, because the humanitarian crisis is serious. There are more than three million people mm -hmm. that has left Venezuela in the last two years. This is not a creation of the United States. It's a creation of flaws and problems that the Venezuelan government has, has had managing the situation. Arturo, uh, we greatly appreciate your uh, insight on this. Uh, we will, I'm sure, check back with you. This doesn't appear to be diffused in any time in the near future. Arturo Lopez-Levy joining us from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Great Thank you. pleasure, Sean.